No, this. What's that? Can I drink that? Yeah. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> First time. Depends on what's in it. A little parched. A little bit. How you feeling, Frank? Incredible. Uh, I'm I'm good. Uh, good. Frank, we talked about the, the injury report and the, the long list and kind of the comical nature of it all year, but um, you, you did get rolled up on pretty good. And looked not great on on the uh, How difficult was it to to play through with what you were dealing with today? Uh, I don't know. Uh, it's, to me, uh, the pain. I'm not trying to sound like some brute tough guy here. But I was just more frustrated than anything, the fact that it's just, again, you know? Uh, but it, it was tough, but it, it was worth it. <laughs> what, what allows you to play through that Other people can't, maybe. <laughs> um, my parents, I don't know. My dad was one of the toughest people I've ever met. My mom's one of the toughest people I've ever met. And I just take a lot of pride in being out there with the guys, being out there for the city. I mean, they signed me to this extension a few years ago, and. I want to be fulfilling that, you know. I don't want to be that guy who gets paid and not doing that stuff, you know. I want to be out there and finding a way to win. Without the practical, you know, the throw, do you think you were going to be out for the I wasn't even thinking about that. I just <laughs> thinking hurt. <laughs> yeah. Not long after you got hurt, uh, they ran behind you in that fourth down play. Uh -huh. Frank, can you walk us through that play? Uh, yeah, it's a duo play, pretty common play that we run a lot. And, uh, Basically, double team on each side, and then it was me and uh, Vita Vea. So it's kind of just mono a mono right there. Big human. Very big human. What are the, the practical m mechanics? I mean, you, you got hurt. I think there was just one more snap, the, the kneel down, then you got the half pass. What, what, it, what went into the, I guess, the medical aspect of it to, to get you ready for the second half and that lull there? Uh, not to get into too many details, but basically the surgeon, the doctors evaluate, make sure it's obviously safe for me to be out there. And then, uh, the, our training staff, is, I know I've said this time and time again, but they're incredible. And uh, they had a great wrap and tape job thing for me, and it worked out great. You didn't pull up Kirby Joseph and hop in the hot tub? No, no, I didn't. No. <laughs> Would be available next week? I don't think so, no. I'll be all right. Can you put into words what, what this means to this organization to, to get to this point? I know you're not satisfied, but just where this place has been and now where you're at. Yeah, it's incredible. I, it's you just reflect on, I mean, me specifically, my career and uh, all the tough days and uh, the frustrating seasons where we're, I'm home by now for already for two weeks, you know. And uh, to be here today when we're taking, uh, we're in victory formation and looking at the crowd is just, it's hard to describe. Kyle mentioned that, that run, Craig's touchdown. I think it was the same drive Brock Wright had the big, long catch. I mean, key situations when you guys lean on some guys that maybe a lot of people don't expect. What does that say about the confidence that you have in just studs everywhere, just unselfish guys that will put it all on the line for their team. And uh, just pros that are always preparing like it's going to be their chance. And I just can't say enough about so many of those guys in the locker room. There's not many bad apples, just a great, great group of dudes that are ready to roll whenever it's their number's called. A couple more guys. You have a balanced attack and you're moving on to San Francisco. Just talk a little bit about that victory over uh, Tampa. Uh, talk about Tampa? The victory and just moving forward, going into the yeah, yeah. Obviously, Tampa. That that defense is one of the best defense we'll play all year. Um, that front seven is incredible. It's uh, we we kind of knew going into it, it was going to be tough to run the ball, and uh, we knew that we as an offensive line we were going to have to hold up. I don't know how many times Jared ended up passing it, but it felt like a lot to me. But uh, we knew we, if we just kept on going and our defense played incredible, we'd find a way, and that, that's how it turned out. We know the physical like, demands. Last one, match, Justin. The physical demands this matchup with Bay and, and whatnot, but a lot was put into the, the mental component of this. Can you just explain what goes into the week of, of prepping for this team, what they show up front, and, and how difficult it is to decipher that down in the now? Yeah, Todd Bowles is one of the great defensive minds in this league, and he does a great job of mixing different personnel pack, packages looking the same way, and then having different thing happens, if that makes sense. So i got to kind of diagnose what personnel they're in and then realize from my film study throughout the season what blitzes they've brought out of this year from that personnel and then kind of be aware, like, oh, like this personnel, they're doing something different. And then, you know, trust your instincts with safety rotation and whatnot. So it's a – me and Jared are really kind of playing a chess game throughout the game, and it's a, it's a lot of fun. That's the part of the game that I really love is just trying to, trying to diagnose what he's trying to throw at us. Thanks, guys. Huh? Yeah, just like that. <laughs>